So how long can we use this for? All the studies that are found are generally doing it of 12 weeks. That's just their study design. Um, the, the costs involved in running study is expensive, and they've just chosen 12 weeks for that to happen. But I want to share with you something really exciting on the next slide. So again, a note, if we're breaking down visceral fat, which is toxic and inflammatory, we really want to be keeping up with supporting our liver, lymphatics, kidney, and bowels. So all that stuff I mentioned before as a prerequisite before jumping on the, the weight loss, the fat loss, I should say, do the same thing during and in between. So if you haven't had a chance to get on a detox beforehand, just do it during it. If you're doing the extract first thing in the morning, and, I, and probably I would recommend again around 3 or 4 p.m., I tried to find what the half-life was to try and figure out the most optimal time. They do say the effects last for nine hours, but it's not going to be like 100% effectiveness for all nine hours. It will start to drop off. So I would rather you bring in another dose sooner and bring that back up to 100% efficiency and have it sort of over with before you get to sleep because we are you, our metabolism is much higher during our waking hours and so will our thermogenesis be during waking hours. So if you can have predominantly most of it during waking hours, the better. And then after you finish the 12-week cycle, do another supportive detox. And if you didn't get to do it beforehand, do it during it. So going back to what I said, first thing in the morning, you do the extract. Then like half an hour before meals, then you can do a detox prior to that. When I say detox, so I, like, I have a supplement company, so I'm a bit biased here. I do think mine tastes amazing and it is formulated really well. But if you've got a naturopath and you've got some other options, fantastic, anything really. Uh, I do like being able to do it twice a day just to clear out that metabolic pathway of all the toxins to make room for more fat to be broken down and get out of the body easier. So is it safe and is it effective? So this is a study done on humans and a very nice gold standard study. We're talking about like a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled parallel group study. So, you know, you really can't get a better study than this. Um, so I'll just read the, the summary of it. And they, they basically said, as the difference in visceral fat area and total fat area of the active and placebo groups increased over time, meaning the people that were on the extract lost a lot more than placebo, and that was getting more and more as time went on, it increased over time and it did not plateau. So that, again, is significant. You can take something that can be effective, but short-lived, your body becomes sensitized to it and it no longer works. Your body gets used to it. Not this case. That it did not plateau. It actually got better. And they concluded and, and summarized that the benefits offered by the extract would increase over a longer period of ingestion. That a continual ingestion was a safe way to reduce body fat. So again, when you have stuff like that, that just gives me massive amounts of faith and really exciting that there was no plateau reached. But what if you're not moving on the scales? What are some things you can do to make sure you're on the right path and there's nothing else you need to do? First of all, measure correctly. So just because the kilograms are not moving on the scales does not mean you're not breaking down the fat. So you go and get a body impedance scan done. So you might have a gym you can go to that has those fancy things you stand on and hold on to, and it measures using bioimpedance. They're fantastic. If you don't, there's an app called Me360. Uh, it does 3D imaging of your body and calculates very accurately what your measurements are throughout the entire body. It can even calculate lean body mass. So even if you are shrinking over the body and you're retaining water, you're not gonna know that is happening if you're just weighing yourself on scales. Ideally, you don't even use the scales once you've done your first weigh-in until a couple of weeks later and do a scan at the same time. And again, if you're inflamed, stressed, toxic, acidic, not sleeping, hormonally imbalanced, then that's gonna impact you. It's amazing that if you looked at some other videos that I've done, that this extract is able to help with a lot of those areas. So as you're on it, even if your measurements and, and your scales or your scans aren't changing that much, it's still working in the background, fixing a bunch of those mechanisms that need to be corrected 
before it says, okay, now we're ready, now it's safe to lose the fat. So before I mention the exercise, here's a study that I found. Um, again, uh, this was in 2008, uh, another randomized double-blind placebo control group, parallel group study, and they said the ingestion of the extract combined with light intensity exercise, which was the walking, would induce a greater reduction of the visceral fat. So it definitely does help if you exercise. Not that you need it, but you should be, again, getting into the mindset of it. Look, even for myself, and I was one of the unlucky ones who only just got their product, so I've done my 360 scan yesterday, and I'll be looking forward to seeing what it does for me. But more importantly for myself, like even when you do get down to your goal size and you want to stabilize that, and again, we are talking about the, the science looking at why do you gain weight in the first place, the whole metabolic insulin glucose, inflammation, that this extract seems to be able to stabilize and correct. So if you can create an environment where you're taking something that's proactively helping regulate those areas, and that's what usually would have put weight on in the first place, let alone helping strip it off, that is amazing in itself. But when it starts to go beyond that, here's a, a study, and it's, quite, it's about three or four of these now, on our cognitive function. And so this was a study that was looking at the um, the extract and they concluded that supplement with hot bitter acids, including mature hot bitter acids, might be a novel approach for the prevention of cognitive decline and dementia. So it was helping suppress some of these um, rogue immune cells in our brain and reduce neuroinflammation, as well as the Alzheimer dementia pathology. And so I don't know if anyone knows uh, someone with dementia but or Alzheimer's. We had my grandfather, um, my mum's father, and it's just not something you really want to ever have to think about. And so for me, I don't see a reason with all the benefits that this has as to why I would ever not stop taking it.